Right, so there we have it. Happy Valley is finally finished. It's Monday morning. I watched the final episode last night and I thought while it's still fresh in my mind, I'd go give you a tour of some of the locations where it's filmed because I was born and bred and still live in Hebden Bridge, the town where Catherine lives in the show where it's based on. So I thought I'd give you a tour of Hebden, some of the other towns nearby and some of the locations that are prominent in the show. So let's go do that today. Now I will say there'll probably be a few spoilers in this. So if you haven't watched the final episode, go watch that first. And there's definitely gonna be spoilers from other seasons as well, because I'm gonna go see some spots from those. So yeah, if you haven't seen it, go watch it, then come back and watch this. Now my second connection to Happy Valley and probably an even cooler one than me actually living in the town where it's based is that so 10 years ago 11 years ago i trained to be an actor in london i went to a drama school and to get into drama school unlike a university where it's like grade based it's all based on an audition you do so you have to take like a, a monologue or a song and then you'll perform it for a panel and then they'll decide oh, if this person's good enough to come to drama school so often with drama schools they get outside professional actors to come and sit on the panel of the auditions and give their expertise and the day that I was auditioning for drama school they'd got Sarah Lancashire in to come in and sit on the panel so I performed my acting monologue to Sarah Lancashire and she said this guy's good enough to go to drama school so Sarah Lancashire the outrageously talented Sarah Lancashire who plays Catherine in the show said this guy can act which well she said that I was good enough at acting 11 years ago anyway to uh, go to drama school I'm now a pizza chef but I uh yeah, what a cool connection to the show. I live here and Sarah Lancashire thinks that I'm a good actor. Right, let's go explore some of these locations of Hebden Bridge, Sorby Bridge, a bit of Halifax, Tobberdon. Let's go have a look. I'm also going to touch upon some of the real life murders and crimes that have happened in this area as well. So I'll talk about some of them and the history of that. Right, so here we are in Hebden Bridge and off to see the first location, the street where Catherine lives. And it's just here. Let's try to find the house as well. So this is where it all kicked off last night in the finale. And it's number 29, so let's have a look. And just down there as well, you can see where Tommy got in. Looks like they've mended the window since they filmed it. But yeah, there it is, the house. Let's go have a look behind and see the cobbled streets behind where Catherine and Claire sit out drinking tea nattering. Let's go have a look at that. I think that acting partnership of Claire and Catherine, Sarah Lancashire and, Sh and Siobhan Finneran, absolutely incredible, all you need, just great dialogue. Sally Wainwright's writing is just insane. Right, here we are on the street, let's have a look. So there it is, and across the roads where that Winnie would have lived. And I think we're Happy Valley as well, it's proven that what we actually want to see on TV is great scripts, great acting, and just brilliant connections, like, like I said, with Claire and Catherine. Just genuine conversation, acted brilliantly. We don't want fancy car chases or explosions, we just want great dialogue. And Happy Valley nailed that. So much better than half the stuff you see on TV. That one there as well, I didn't want to spend too long round because it is actually someone's house and I bet they're getting right fed up of people coming round just filming with cameras. And just round here is where Neil worked, the shop. So let's have a look. There it is. So yeah, this is where Neil worked. Where Neil met Claire, right here. Claire. Do you remember, in season two, just outside. Cool. And apparently, inside here, people have been coming in and just going and asking if Neil's working. And the woman behind the counter apparently doesn't even watch Happy Valley, so she's got no idea of what's going on. And yeah, Con O'Neill, who plays Neil in the show, absolutely nails the accent. I don't think he's from around here, but it is spot on. And up here is a bit of a rogue location. I'm not sure if you'll recognise it. It's from season two when John is going to have his 
affair or finish the affair with Vicky. Show you. So yeah, John walks around there and then ends up in Rippenden. And it says Rippenden something on the, uh, on the window in the show. They tried to make Hebden Rippenden, but I could not be fooled. I knew where it was. Someone else back there as well walking around. I can hear her talking about, oh, that's where it was filmed. I bet there's loads of us out today doing it. Now the accents in the show in general are just outrageously good. A lot of them are Northern. I think Sally Wainwright, the writer who's from round these parts, wants it to be authentic. So she's obviously gonna get people with true Northern accents, very particular to the place that it's filmed in. But the guy that plays Tommy Lee Royce, his accent is spot on. And I know he's from down south, but he sounds exactly like people from around here. My accent's not that strong, really, but I know what it sounds like to be from around here, especially like the Mythenroyd area. He nails that accent. It is literally spot on. It's a fair play to him. I don't mind it when a southerner can portray the accent perfectly. So yeah, this next location has been really hard to find. It's the bit in season one where Tommy is on the barge hiding away and now the canal runs so far through this valley and it all looks the same. So I think I know where it is. I think I found the spot. So let's go have a look. Also, what did you think of the ending of Happy Valley? Were you happy with it? Let me know in the comments. I was really happy with it. I was really happy that we just got a big chunk at the end of just Catherine and Tommy and some great dialogue, some brilliant acting. I was really glad it didn't come to some ridiculous chase or some crazy fight scene. I was like, no, let's not have that. Let's just have some brilliant dialogue. And it really was brilliant dialogue. I think that's all we needed from them too, which was great. So yeah, I think for me, season two is my favourite though. Just the simplicity of it, the murder plot line going on, the continuous Catherine and Tommy, and then that other cop getting involved. And it was just so simple and brilliant, and the acting was absolutely amazing. I think with season three, the whole pharmacy thing, and the, the teacher, uh, it all just got a bit convoluted with the Eastern Europeans. The, the Catherine and Tommy story was amazing, but I just felt like, it just got a bit complicated, but it was still really, really good. But yeah, season two is my favourite, but let me know what you thought of the ending and what was your favourite season. And I think I found it. This is it. This is the bit of the canal where that barge was. She walks up, looks in one, and then looks in another, and that was it here. Yeah, this is it. I'm buzzing with this because all this canal just looks identical. Well, this is 100% it. So yeah, Hebden Bridge, what's it like to live here? So I've lived here all my life, apart from a brief stint in London, I've always lived here and I absolutely love it. People are really friendly up here. The location is just outrageously beautiful. I've been all around the world and there's nowhere quite like this area. So I just love living here and it's really safe as well. And I know that Happy Valley, makes it seem like this crazy place, but re really, it's really safe. There have been a few murders. There's been some really prolific murders around here. One being Harold Shipman, the notorious serial killer who killed upwards of 200 people, I think. So he was arrested in Hyde near Manchester and he was convicted of, I think, 15 murders, but there were so many more, but they just couldn't pin him on it. And then it was my brother's godfather, the brilliant journalist, Pete Devine, who looked back and found that Harold Shipman was working as a junior doctor in Todmorden, just down the road from Hebden Bridge, just a few miles down the road from Hebden Bridge. And he started to look at what Harold Shipman was up to when he was there, and he realised, I think it was 1974 and 1975, and while Harold Shipman was a junior doctor there, the deaths increased in elderly people by something like 40%. And he was also, well, there was a load of death signatures, death certificates, sorry, with his signature on it. There was like eight in a week, apparently, and three on one day, which was just crazy. He also, Harold Shipman, got fired, or I think he got arrested for uh, stealing drugs at the time as well, which makes more sense. But yeah, it was my uh, brother's godfather, Pete Devine, who figured out that Harold Shipman had been, had probably started his murdering spree in Todmorden, just down the road, and, yeah, which is pretty crazy to think. Right, so now I'm near the town of Sorby Bridge and I'm off to find that Chinese from season one where Catherine first sees Tommy. So let's go have a find of that. So a journalist recently got in touch with me and wanted to speak to someone who had grown up in Hebden Bridge and chat about what it was like to live where Happy Valley was set. And she was asking about how Hebden Bridge has a bit of a reputation of having a bit of a drug problem. 
and we were chatting about how it's, it's had that nickname, she'd heard it, I'd heard it, how it's a drug town with a tourist problem. But I think what it really is, is most areas in the UK have drug problems. Areas like Blackpool, deprived areas like Blackpool having a drug problem. Posh areas of London like Mayfair, Kensington will have drug problems. Hebden Bridge having a bit of a drug problem. I think it's amplified by the, the nature and the surrounding hills and how picturesque it is. And that sort of amplifies it and it makes it seem a bit worse than it actually is. But I think it's no different to anywhere. I just think it's the contrast of what the area looks like. Right, and I think the Chinese is just round here somewhere. Yes, it's down here. You remember your man Tommy was having a ciggy here, looking at the menu. And uh, Catherine drove past. Yeah, this was the Chinese. Well, yeah, nice, that's it. The Chinese. So who is your favourite actor from Happy Valley? Now, obviously you've got Sarah Lancashire, who's incredible. But my favourite one is the guy who plays John in season two. Kevin Doyle. It's your man Mr. Mosley from Downton Abbey. I realised watching it a second time through, I recognised what he was from. But his simplicity and the plot line when he's murdered that Vicky woman and he's in the police meeting room and he knows they're on to him and he knows he's going to get caught soon and he's just sat there staring, he's doing nothing but doing so much. I just thought he was brilliant. His accent was great. The whole plot of his was just incredible and he played it so well. I absolutely loved his storyline, yeah. And we're here, where he ended up ultimately dying at the bridge. Let's have a look. And just across the road from the bridge, there is the police station from season one and two. And up in the distance over there, you've got Wayne House Tower which is featured in loads of shots of the show, which is near Halifax Way. Wayne House Tower is actually a, a folly. It's a fake chimney they built. Can't remember why, but yeah, it was a never working chimney. It was purely decorative. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know I like chimneys. Another murder that happened in the town of Hebden Bridge was that of Lindsay Reimer, a 13 year old girl who went missing in November, 1994. She was last seen in the shop that's just next to the one I showed you earlier, Nisa from Happy Valley. She was seen on CCTV buying some cereal from there. And then she disappeared. And six months later, her body was found in this bit of the canal right here. It was weighed down with a rock and no one has ever been charged for that murder. Yeah, it was just here in the canal where the body was found. And there used to be a big factory here back when the body was found and when she went missing. So yeah, police think it was someone with local knowledge, so probably a local, because not everyone would know about how to get onto the canal by the factory there, especially with a body. So police suspected it was someone local. But yeah, no one's ever been charged with that. Yeah, I think it's important to keep Lindsay's name and memory in conversation, just in case someone does have some information and can come forward and help finally solve this murder. Now, one thing I love about the show is that they've chosen to put it in Hebden and the surrounding areas and they are actually really accurate with all the places like it, it, it stays true to the area you can tell they've chosen to film it and they actually filmed here now the last location it's that bit in season one when Tommy runs over that cop and I couldn't figure out where it was I thought it was one area and then in the show they say it's Scamenden Road so I've come up to Scamenden Road and it kind of looks familiar maybe a bit up there and obviously the hills, the rolling hills that are all around when uh, Tommy in the Mini, I think he reverses or drives straight into that woman. But I just can't tell if it's here or not. But they say it's Scamenden Road, so maybe we'll just say it's here. And this is a nice place to film it. So I'm pretty sure that last location I went to wasn't right at all. But they also said that this was Rippenden Wines, when I know that's in Hebden, so I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm starting to think that Sarah Lancashire might not even be a real cop. But yeah, that was a little walking tour of the town little recap of some of the places from someone who was born and raised here and still lives here. It was super cool to see all those places on TV and it is ace just to see your town in such a good TV show. It was amazing. Sally Wainwright absolutely nailed it with the writing. And Sally, if you're ever writing another gritty northern TV series and you need a, an actor, get in touch. Sarah Lancashire thought I was good enough to go to drama school. So yeah, thank you for watching and let me know, were you happy with the ending or were you not? I was. I thought it was great.